Factsverse presents 10 Crazy Facts About Condoms Number 1. They're ancient. The very first condoms were discovered in a cave in France. The condoms found are between 12,000 and 15,000 years old. The oldest condom that was ever used was in Lund, Sweden, and was made out of pig intestines. This condom was reusable and dates back to 1640. The condom came complete with instructions that were written in Latin. The instructions said to wash the condom in warm milk to prevent disease. Number 2. They used to be very difficult to buy. In 1928, you could only buy condoms and vending machines located around the United States. Before that, the only way to get condoms was with a prescription by a doctor. In order to get a prescription, you had to be a man who enjoyed the company of prostitutes. Doctors didn't care that women wanted to protect themselves against pregnancy and STDs, but they had no problem giving them to men who enjoyed the occasional night with a prostitute. If you were famous, you also had a good chance of getting a condom. At the Sochi Olympics, athletes were given 100,000 condoms. When divided, that worked out to 35 condoms for each athlete. Number 3. They were developed to combat syphilis Condoms were originally designed to protect against syphilis. During the 16th century, an Italian man named Gabriele Fallopio wrote a paper on syphilis. Back then, it was known as the French disease, which was a major killer back then. He performed the first test using linen sheets that were soaked in a chemical solution that would dry and cover the glands of the penis. He used a ribbon to hold it on. His study consisted of 1,100 participants who would wear the prototype to prove that his prototype could prevent the disease. Number 4. The Materials Have Evolved Over the years, the material used for condoms have evolved, as condoms have not always been made of latex. They were actually made of a variety of things, including animal intestines, silk, linens, and leather. Different countries used different materials. The Romans used goat bladders, and the Japanese used leather and tortoise shell. The ancient Egyptians used linen in 150 AD. The legendary womanizer Casanova was said to have used linen in the 19th century. These were referred to as English riding coats. The latex condoms that we use today were developed in 1920. The very first European company to use latex was the London rubber company Durex in 1932. Number 5. They were reusable. In the 1600s, the condoms that were made to the general public were made of animal intestines. Because of the high cost of these condoms, they were reused over and over again. Until the advances in condoms in the 1920s, the cost of a single condom was the same as what a prostitute would make over several months in the United States. This was not the only case of the reusable condom. Charles Goodyear and Thomas Hancock invented rubber vulcanization in 1844 and revolutionized the condom industry by making it possible to mass-produce the products at a very low cost quickly. Unfortunately, these condoms were not available worldwide because the rubber would perish during the long journey on the sea. In the 1950s, thicker, reusable condoms remained popular in New Zealand. During World War II in Japan, many of the women who worked in brothels said that the most degrading part of their jobs was cleaning their reusable condoms at the end of the day. Number 6. Condoms Replaced Weasel Testicles This is the craziest of the 10 facts about condoms. Although condoms are the best way to prevent pregnancy and STDs today, they did not really become popular until the 20th century. Before condoms, there are accounts of very strange and fascinating methods of birth control. During the Middle Ages in Europe, women were told to wear weasel testicles on their thighs or to hang an amputated foot from their necks. In other areas, women were told that if they walked three times around the spot where a pregnant wolf urinated, she could protect herself from becoming pregnant. Centuries ago in China, women were encouraged to use a more dangerous method. Women were encouraged to drink mercury or lead to prevent pregnancy, which are both poisonous. Technically, this method did work, as these women either died from ingesting these things or they became sterile. Number 7. Celebrities Endorse Them In 2012, an announcement was made that the hit singing group One Direction turned down the chance to appear on a range of condoms. Their management team was so against the idea that they were planning to file a lawsuit against an American brand of condoms which were called One Erection. History was shown, however, that not all celebrities feel this way. The boy band JLS released a condom by Durex in 2010. Every penny made through selling the condoms would go to the JLS Charitable Foundation. Other celebrities who jumped on the condom enforcement wagon include Daft Punk, Madonna, and Kesha. 
There have also been commemorative royal wedding condoms. They were designed to celebrate the wedding of Prince William and Kate Middleton, and they were called crown jewels. Number 8. They have surprising secondary uses. Condoms today can amazingly hold one gallon of liquid. Their reputation for strength and versatility have made people use them for other things. There are reports that soldiers used them to protect their rifles from water damage. They can also assist with first aid application, can help start a fire, and can be weaponized to create a slingshot to hunt small game. When the Indian government began passing out free condoms to prevent HIV and a rapidly increasing population, many of the recipients found other purposes for them. Road-building contractors received a large amount to mix them with concrete and tar to prevent cracking and make the road surface smoother. Builders spread beds of condoms along the base of cement plastering to keep water from seeping through. In countryside villages, residents used condoms to fill with water so that they could wash their hands after bathroom breaks while working in the fields. Number 9. New Advances Have Been Made in Condoms The main purpose of condoms is to prevent STDs and pregnancy, and they were designed accordingly. Since those issues have been covered, many condom companies have moved on to remove the stigma that condoms make sex less enjoyable. During the 90s, condoms began to change. Condom manufacturers began making flavored condoms, lubricated, ripped, and studded condoms. They even made thinner condoms so that you cannot feel them and even glow-in-the-dark condoms. Today, companies are still trying to make changes, such as the origami condoms that are being developed, as well as the anal intercourse condom, which is being called the radical new condoms for the 21st century. Number 10. The Future of Condoms From animal intestines to rubber, the condom has come a long way. Today, scientists are working on an invisible condom, which is a gel that hardens when subjected to high temperatures. Subscribe for more!